Good Tuesday morning, everybody. I pray that you rested well. I pray that you woke up this morning excited about another day. Amen. I just wanted to share God's word and say a brief prayer with you to get our day started. The word for today comes from Hebrews chapter 13, verses 5 and 6. Hear the word of the Lord. God says, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. So you can say with confidence, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. Some of us need to decree and declare that right now, that the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. We need to understand that when we are experiencing the spirit of fear, that it is not of God. Fear, false evidence appearing real. It's not real, but the enemy is presenting a lie. He's whispering a lie in our ear to cause us to grab on to what we're seeing in the natural. But beloved, we are not individuals. We are not beings that we walk by, by what we see, but we walk by faith. And faith and fear cannot coexist. And God wants us to know that even though the situation may cause us to feel as though we are alone, that he is with us. And so therefore we can boldly decree that we will not fear. I do believe that there are times when we're in situations where God himself will allow uh, it to feel like others are not there for us because they can't understand, they can't support, they can't encourage, they can't uplift, not the way that we need so that we can turn our eyes where? Back to God. Because he gives us the assurance, man may have walked off, man may have walked away, man may not be there, but God is always there. Get that in your spirit. The message translation, I love how it, it says that scripture in the message, it says, I will never let you down. I will never walk off. I will never leave you. So therefore, you can boldly say this, that God is there, ready to help. I'm fearless no matter what. Who or what can get to me? That's what we need to say today. Who or what can get to me? And the answer is nobody. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we just come to you right now. We thank you, God, that you are not the God of fear. You are the God of faith. Right now, we just rebuke that spirit of fear that would want to come on us today when a certain situation is, is presented to us, when somebody whispers something in our ear, when we get that phone call, when we read that email, we just right now, in advance, bind that spirit of fear. Fear is not of you, God, but rather, God, we speak to our faith that our faith will arise today. That our faith will look fear in the face and say, no, no, not today. This is the son. This is the daughter of the most high king. Father God, we thank you for the assurance that no matter what we go through, that you will never leave us. You will never walk away. You will never abandon us, Father God. Even though people may have done that, help us to recognize that you are not like man, God. And you are not a liar. That what your word says is true and we can take it to the bank. So, Father God, right now, in the name of Jesus, I stand with my brothers, I stand with my sisters, that we do not receive fear today. We do not receive the report of the doctor. We do not receive the negative report from our boss. We do not receive the negative report over our children, over our marriage. But we receive the report of the Lord. And we thank you, God, that there is no situation that we can encounter, that we can walk through, that we can experience, that we have to do it without you. Thank you for going ahead of us. Thank you for walking with us. And thank you, God, for having our back. So we decree today, we will not fear because the Lord God Almighty himself is on our side. We thank you for that assurance today. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Have an awesome day.